How's it going everybody? Welcome back and today I wanted to share my experience with CyberGhost but if you're looking for an in-depth review you'll find that in the description down below as well as links to pricing and discounts. So let's get straight down to it. Now CyberGhost is one of those VPNs that are actually quite a bit budget friendly and offers just the right amount of features. Now I've got over 6,800 servers in uh, just about 90 to 91 countries and you'll be able to secure up to seven devices per subscription. Now you don't get many features with uh, CyberGhost but here's where you get. First of all, you get no spy servers for extra anonymity. You get gaming specific servers for better ping. You have torrenting optimized servers and you have streaming optimized servers. And what I like about these streaming lists is that, for example, if I want to unblock Hulu, I can just look up Hulu and it will give me the optimized servers for Hulu. Same thing. If I want to unblock Netflix, I can just look up Netflix and it will give me the right servers for that. Uh, depending on which country I can connect to, it just gives me all the right servers without having to test out any of the servers. Of course, you can still use the regular servers to unblock streaming services, but these are just optimized servers that are recommended by CyberGhost themselves. Now, if we go to the privacy settings, you have your ad blocker, DNS leak prevention, and the kill switch. And you want to keep these two on, and the kill switch, you can just turn it off if you'd like, but the kill switch will pretty much make sure that you're only going to be connected to the internet while you're secured by the VPN. Otherwise, it will cut off your internet connection when you disconnect from the VPN. VPN. In smart rules, you have uh, pretty much exceptions and app rules as features. You know, Wi-Fi protection is where you can choose which networks you trust and which you don't trust. Um, you have some launch rules right here, but mainly the feature is going to be exceptions and app rules. And these two features are more like convenience features instead of security features. And exceptions will allow you to choose the websites you don't want to pass through the VPN tunnel. And app rules will make CyberGhost launch and connect to a VPN server automatically when you open up the selected application. So uh, right here, I have it set up. So if I ever open up Steam, it will automatically launch uh, CyberGhost and connect to the German server uh, before I launch Steam. So it's a pretty convenient feature. And that's pretty much it with CyberGhost. You don't really get much besides that. Obviously, you can uh, choose your uh, protocol right here. I would recommend just keeping it to automatic selection, even though WireGuard is the fastest option. Uh, not all the servers are compatible with WireGuard, so I just recommend sticking to the automatic selection. And overall, I mean, CyberGhost is one of the best VPNs out there. You know, it's got a good no logs policy, so they don't collect any of your data. It's very fast, it's very secure. It works with uh, streaming and torrenting. So if that's something you're worried about, you don't have to worry about that at all. You have zero restrictions or bandwidth throttling, and it's a really good VPN overall, uh, considering the very low price. A lot of VPNs won't really offer this kind of consistency and reliability, and they will even charge more than CyberGhost. Now, if you're looking to learn a little bit more about the privacy policy, speed streaming and torrenting capabilities, as well as security and features of CyberGhost, you'll find the full review down below, and you'll find links to pricing and discounts if you want to get started straight to that. Either way, CyberGhost is covered by a 45-day money-back guarantee. So in case you're not satisfied with CyberGhost for whatever reason, you can just get yourself the refund. Besides that, comment below if you have any questions. I'll be happy to answer all of them. Like and subscribe if you'd like to stay up to date with everything VPNs and cybersecurity. Thank you guys very much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Have a wonderful day.